Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 39 of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we went seven years into the future, dude. Oh my god. Did we use a flux capacitor or what? I don't know. No, we used a sword. Oh my god. So anyways, and then we encountered this guy of the Sheikah, who is named Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. Dude, I don't believe you. That's the most uncreative name for a Sheikah ever. I think you're lying. You lie, you're lying, your pants on fire. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the other, for the five temples and awaken the five sages. I thought there were six sages, because there's Roru. Well, I guess he's not in a temple. Well, he's in the Temple of Light. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Is it Malon? Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I am saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. What? Do you understand, Argon? No. Why am I going to Kakariko Village? <gasps> hey, I can control myself. Oh my god, I'm big. I can still use my ocarina, and no. Oh wait, maybe I just can't use the Diku Nuts inside the Temple of Time. That's probably it. But yeah. So, seven years, man. Ooh, I sound... I have a deep voice now. Awesome. Oh my god. Dude. Dude. What? Huh? Dude. Look, the Gossip Stones are still here. Oh my god, but I can't talk to them because you can't wear that mask. Seven years in the future. What's happened to... Oh my... Oh, shit. Dude, it's redead. It's redead. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Must kill, must kill. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's raping me. It's raping my face. It's raping my face. Ha. Dude, how how could this happen in just seven years? What did Ganon do? Is Hyrule Castle okay? Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god, it's lop. What, what, what the hell is this? That's not Hyrule Castle. That's some big black piece of shit could have been taken very wrong and sounded very racist, but whatever. Ganon's castle, what? That's bull hunk. Oh my god, skeleton. Scary. I don't suppose we can get up there, can we? Please? Please? Not worth the risk. Not worth the risk. Maybe someday. Maybe in a future episode. More on that later. <coughs> oh man, I need a drink. Dude, this isn't the market. You can't even call this the market. This is like Redez Central right here. It's a freaking graveyard. So anyways, um... Yeah, truth is, we actually are seven years in the future. And we have a lot of crap that we can do now. First of which is going to be probably one of the most important things that you're going to want to do. Even though it's entirely optional. And yes, you can use Deku Nuts. See? Ha. Huh. You didn't believe me, did you? Well, I can't be the judge of that. Maybe you did believe me. I'm not sure. Oh my god. So anyway, what you're, what you're going to want to do... Oh wait, do I have enough rupees for this? Crap. I don't think I do. Uh... No, whatever. What What was that? That was like, whatever. Whatever. Anyways, um... Well, I guess that the first thing that we can do instead... Instead of going to Long Long Ranch to get something very important and helpful and nice and lovely and awesome, and it's not Malon, is go to Kakariko Village, just like Sheik was telling us, if that is his real name. Hmm? Hmm? Sheik of the Sheikah? Whatever. Yeah, so we'll just go to Kakariko Village, where there's something very nice waiting for us in the graveyard that is actually required. And I don't think you ever get it, like, this early in any other Zelda game. I'm not sure. You might. But I don't know. So anyways, yeah, like I said, we're going in the graveyard where we will have to do I guess what you could call a mini game. And we'll actually have to do it twice because there's a reward that we're going to want to get. I'll spoil it now for you. It's a piece of heart. The first one is going to be the item that we need. The second one is going to be the item that we want. A piece of heart. So anyways, to get to this mini game, you're going to want to head over here 
And you may not recognize it, but th this grave was not here seven years ago. So that means it is a new grave. I guess someone else died. And who died? Who died, you might ask? Well, we're going to find out by dropping into their grave. Into their catacombs. Oh my god. My cat is scary. The question mark grave? Holy shit, it's Dompe. <laughs> young man, are you fast on your feet? Yeah, I'm in track and field, bitch. I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Dude. What was that laugh? That was just retarded. What the hell? You, you sound... That's the laugh they should have given Ganondorf. Then my voice for him would have worked perfectly. So anyways, basically all you have to do is follow him and avoid the fires that he throws at you. I don't know why he has to throw fire at you. I mean, does he hate me or what? Oh my god. You son of a bitch. Yeah. So to get this reward, to get the first reward, all you have to do is basically just not not fall like 500 hours behind him. And for, to get the second reward, you have to beat. You have to get to the end in a minute. But for the first reward, as long as you can see him, you're pretty much fine. Oh my god. You stupid. I like the multicolored fire. It's very nice. The purple pink fires. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did I take such a wide berth around that? You know, make such a big O. Big O. Big round and perfect or obtuse O. Yeah. Okay. And we just head around this room in this big O shape. You know. And then we made it. Not too hard at all. And once we get here, we can talk to him. And he's like, the time of this race was 1-11. Nice. Hey, 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 young man. You are very quick to be able to keep up with me. Hey, hey, hey. As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hookshot. Wait, well, wait a spoiler for me, dude. That's not fun. A spring load chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. If you... Um, there's a little thing that I didn't show. It's kind of an Easter egg. But if... While well, I was a kid, um, yeah, if you went into Dompe's, like, grave shed thing when you could, which was only, like, certain times, um, you could read his diary in there, and it would tell you about the hookshot. It wouldn't specifically name it, but it would be like, I have such an awesome thing. It goes boing, boing, like Mr. Saturn. And, yes, we found the hookshot. What a cool invention. Yeah. Come on. I know how to work this, I can explain it. Okay. Yeah, so the hookshot's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna actually set that right now. Even though we don't need to use it right now. Oh my god, there's a big ass block in the way. What do we do about this, dude? Well, actually, you wanna play... The Song of Time. Are we gonna warp like seven more years into the future? No, it's just gonna get rid of the blocks that are blocking our way. Blocks blocking our way? That's inconceivable! It's implausible. It's absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, you walk up here and... What? We open out in the windmill. That's weird. But anyways, before you leave the windmill, you're going to want to hop over this way to get... To, or fail to get a piece of heart. But we're going to be coming back here later anyways, so... Yeah. What do you say? You, oh my god, you're angry. Grrr. I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Grr, Dude, seven years ago? I was a kid back then. I knew you. I knew you once. Ocarina kid's fault? Hey, dude, I have an ocarina. Want to see? What? You've got an ocarina? What the hell? I mean, what the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. Really? It seems like an easy song to forget. Anyways, this is not a required song by any means, but it's kind of helpful in certain areas. The Song of Storms. Basically, it makes it rain. That's all it really does. Yeah, uh... I have a little bit of time left in this episode. I don't know what we can do in that time, but whatever. Oh, I know, I know like, one thing we can do. It actually involves the hookshot. And for some reason, the rain makes this thing go, like, super hyper-fast or something. So, whatever. Let's just leave the windmill. Back in the Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village. And, yeah. Basically, with this hookshot, now we can actually head over here. we got, like, a minute left. We can totally do this in a minute. 
<sighs> I can't really think of anything to say. I'm sorry, you guys. I mean, I know some of you might just be amused and be like, what? What are you talking about? You have great commentary. But I, I just don't think I do. Anyway, so you can hookshot over onto this roof, which is the roof of the house of Skulltula. They're still all in there, by the way. And if you ta if you aim this just right, come on, where's the dot? There it is. But if you pull, you can pull yourself up here, and there's actually a sculpture up here. Look at that. And look at that. We can one shot it with the master with the master sword now. Oh crap. And we ac and we don't have to wait for an item like the boomerang to get this because we can just use the hook shot. So anyways, that's all for this episode, you guys. Thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we'll do something else. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.